Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In this lecture, you'll learn about the other main product offerings that Cisco have other than their routers and switches. The Cisco Firewall is the ASA, that's the Adaptive Security Appliance, and you can see a picture of one of those here. The IPS, the Intrusion Prevention System from Cisco, is the Sourcefire Firepower IPS. That can be bought either as an appliance or more commonly now, it will be either a software or a hardware module that lives inside the ASA firewall. Cisco also make wireless products as well. They have wireless LAN controllers that you can see on the left here and wireless access points that you can see on the right. The reason that they have wireless LAN controllers is that you get better scalability when you deploy those rather than having just lots of standalone wireless access points. For collaboration, Cisco have Unified Communications Manager. That is a software product which is an IP-based PBX. So it replaces traditional PBXs, private branch exchanges, which controlled the phones that you would see in buildings a long time ago. A lot of modern companies still are using traditional PBXs, but IP PBXs are getting more and more popular. Cisco's Unified Communications Manager is one of the most popular IP PBXs that are available. If you are going to be using the Cisco UCM to control your phones, you're also going to need to have IP phones on your desks. So Cisco produce those as well. You can see a picture of a typical Cisco IP phone on the left here. Cisco also do high-end, high-definition video conferencing systems. That's Cisco Telepresence. And you can see a picture of one of the available Telepresence models on the right of the picture. Another really popular product that Cisco have is Cisco WebEx, which is used for meetings. Finally, there's also Data Center. You can see a picture of the UCS Blade server on the right here. UCS stands for Unified Computing System, as well as the Blade server that you see here. Cisco also have standard rack mount servers as well. So with the UCS, Cisco moved into offering compute as well, where you can actually run your servers directly on Cisco hardware. The other main product that Cisco have for the data center market is the Nexus switches. These are very similar to the standard Cisco switches which run the iOS software. They do exactly the same job, but these are often a bit higher end switches and they run the NXOS software instead. The commands in NXOS and iOS are very similar though. So after you've learned the information on switching in this course, you can pretty easily take those skills across to the data center as well. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.